हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट यूजर दैट इज आई एम यूजर नाउ वी विल इनेबल एम एफ ए ऑन दैट एम एफ ए इज नथिंग बट मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन ए डब्ल्यू एस रिकमेंड टू डू दिस वन दिस इज दिस इज फॉर सिक्योरिटी पर्पज सो दैट इफ इफ एनी वन विल गेट योर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड इवन गेटिंग दैट देन दे के नॉट लॉग इन यू लॉग इन टू द ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट बिकॉज दे नीड MFA for that. So if you see, I have you have to go to the this IM console, Identity and Access Management, and you can see here they are giving the warning saying that enable without MFA. So this account has been this user has been enabled without MFA. So if you click there, as a best practice, enable MFA for user who have console access. Okay, so you have to enable the MFA. So now the MFA is very general. So in the Gmail also you can do the setup the MFA, or this similar way. So here we have to come to the. You have to log into IM. Then you have to move to your users. In that user you can select your user, and uh, you can go to security credentials, and assign MFA. Okay. Before that you have to log in. You have to download. Google Authenticator or or my or Authenticator by by Microsoft. Any things you can download from Google Play. Or if you're using iPhone, you can download for download for i iPhone. And uh, once it will be downloaded, then you can click here, assign MFA device. Okay. So I was talking. There is multiple option, or multiple device option to create to set up the MFA. first one is authenticator app and then there is security key and some hardware ottp token also that that, that is time based one time password so this is just uh, one hardware where number will be keep coming populating some number random number it will keep generating and then whenever you are using whenever you are logging into the aws the whatever the number will display in this device that number you have to type okay so anyway we are not going to use security key and uh, hardware but some of the company they will provide these two things okay because of their security norm so they will go for this so for learning purpose we will do here using authenticator app so you already have downloaded google authenticator and then you can proceed here click here and then do next you can just give device name anything like uh admin mobile okay or just admin mfa assign anything in some meaningful name you can give okay you cannot use you can use this many things use alpha numeric this and things you can use and then do next Okay, setting your device. So what you do here is, we have to click here. Okay, this QR code will will come. So now I cannot show because I am doing it in my mobile. You can also do this very simple. So the thing is there. So you can log in. You can log in. You can uh, open your mobile and from Play Store you can install, download and install Authenticator. so i already have google authenticator in my mobile so if you see there is down there is plus sign if you click the plus sign the option will be coming saying that scan a qr code it's simple it's very easy so you you have to scan the qr code so i am scanning it from mobile okay it is automatically assigned and whatever the number you have given or the name you have given before device name with like i have given mfa admin mfa with that you will be one number will be keep coming so what you do you have to whatever number is coming in my mobile now i have to enter so it is displaying 577754 first number and then once this digit will be over so this is for <coughs> some 10 second validity or then 10 second or 30 second so still the same number it is so two time whatever number is coming so both number you have to enter here Yeah, it is still there. Yeah, so now it will be coming different number. So I have to keep zero three eight eight three nine. So 
So don't confuse this number I'm getting it from Google Authenticator and then add MFA. Okay, so you can see this MFA is added. Now, now if I will log out from here and log in again, then we have to give the MFA digit as well. So let me log in. I log in the console. As you already know how to log in, this is this is username was uh, admin one admin one and password I have set okay after this see this option is coming multi-factor authentication so now code is displaying my mobile I have to just uh, enter what the code is displaying here so six two seven three six zero this is very easy process but very secure and in your company they will not give username and password only they will attach mfa policy as well with your account with your user so without using without authentication you cannot log into your aws okay so this is the process so, so thanks thanks for watching this video hope you are following my all the aws content this is very good and uh, please consider subscribing my channel thank you thank you very much